A former male student at Concordia University in Montreal has posted a scathing essay online. It details a culture of harassment aimed at women in the university's prestigious creative writing program. And it's gotten other former students talking. My first reaction was I felt physically ill. It was the first time I had seen it kind of detailed in a way that was how systematic it was and how pervasive and acceptable it is within the department and how everybody knows. Concordia's president has acknowledged the allegations, calling them serious and disturbing. Jayla Bernstein spoke with a former student who says she was a target. This Montreal writer says the culture of misogyny at Concordia dates back to the late 90s. I find it impossible to believe that they did not know this was happening. That disbelief is shared by others. To call it an open secret would imply it was a secret. It wasn't, one former student tweeted. Yeah, it was just common knowledge. But it was an online post by a former male student, Mike Spry, that captured people's attention. He describes an environment of toxic masculinity at Concordia University's creative writing department. And he mentions one Concordia prof who would brag openly about dating or sleeping with students. He would attempt to manipulate by buying them drinks and promise them publication and praise. He adds if they eschewed his advances, he would denigrate them and their writing. CBC has reached out to Spry for comment, but he was not available. O'Neill is now an accomplished writer, but when she was studying at Concordia and still unpublished, she says a professor showed interest in her poetry. She was thrilled and agreed to meet him for drinks with the hope of discussing her work. That did not come up at all during the meeting. Uh, it was just a con it was just like um, he was just hitting on me the entire time. He would lean over and try and kiss me or he would like stroke my arm and then I would always kind of pull back. It made her doubt herself and her talent. Because I didn't know. Was I actually um, a writer of merit who deserved to be published, or was it because um, this was some pri uh, quid pro quo business where I was um, expected to sleep with him? This former student studied creative writing at Concordia up until 2013. He describes an atmosphere that was aggressive and predatory. There's just something that's just completely unhealthy about, you know, being in your late 30s and your 40s and buying drinks to 20-year-old students. Uh, and there's something there and just like the sheer power dynamics uh, that's just completely wrong. Concordia University responded to the allegations in a statement. President Alan Shepard said, I am disturbed by what I read in the blog post. These allegations are serious and will be treated seriously. O'Neill says she's taking comfort in the fact that today students can no longer be silenced. They're all shaking in their boots because young women have um, media outlets and they just have to tweet about it and we all hear. And also we've begun to believe each other. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.